there everybody, my name is Boomer Brown and welcome back to Stellaris. Uh, I think this is episode 3 at this point and we are in the Dlob system or the Dweeb system, I don't. I think that's an I, so it must be the Dweeb system um, with the uh, good ship uh, Sulu Garen uh, surveying a, a number of planets or a number of moons rather orbiting this uh, what kind of star is it? A class M star. Ah, yes, another red dwarf. Uh, so let's see, a uh, scientist has gained a level. Of course he has. He's out doing so much uh, science out here that he's uh, obviously going to be leveling up. Uh, so we've got some more power credits there. Um, yeah, so this is the ship that is on the way out to the uh, black hole out here. And we are, of course, going to uh, jump into the He's system. Uh, just before we get out to that black hole. Uh, something that I... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, something that I meant to uh, look at in the last episode uh, was these uh, clouds and whether or not they are actual wormholes and how it is that we can uh, get into them. Uh, so I'm not sure what to send through. Uh, I, can't, I can't actually remember where we uh, found these wormholes. Uh, is it in the Voom system? Anomaly. Oh, we have found something else. Hold on, I'm just going to pause the game there just in case anything uh, starts to happen. Anomaly, Endub uh, 1C, uh, Ancient Shipyard. Oh, this could be very, very good. And the solar system is red. Now we have a failure risk. Oh, dear. Um, I have tried to capture one of these before, but uh, it was with the uh, my other save file where... Um, eh, it basically it was in a state of disrepair where we could have repaired it, but uh, the uh, problem was it was belonging to someone else, uh, or at least those uh, crystalline uh, structures that we discovered, those space alien creatures that we discovered in the last episode, um, were very prolific in that solar system, and uh, you know it wasn't safe to go in there. Um, but I'm definitely going to. Um, so, uh, an ancient orbital shipyard drifts in silence above this world. It has suffered significant battle damage and entire sections of the facility are missing. So I'm going to research it anyway, just to see what happens. Uh, so that's our anomaly. Um, okay, so Voon. Was it in Voon that we had these... Um, ooh, an FTL trail. So something has been in the Voon system um, recently and warped away. Uh, so where were these uh, clouds? Uh, let's see, situation log, drifting clouds. Uh, stop tracking. The victory screen lists certain conditions that we can strive Okay. To oh yes, this is our end game. Um, so domination, victory, uh, owning 40% of all colonizable planets, and win the game by conquering or subjugating all other empires. I think it will be more a uh, domination uh, than a conquest victory that we will be looking for if we even get that far in the game. Um, so the Voon system. It wasn't in the Voon system. Was it in uh, Helcorax or was Oh, maybe it was over here in the Urin system? No. Maybe it was in the Baskarat system. If it was in the Baskarat system, we were in a bit of trouble. I cannot remember where they were. Uh, let's... Zoom on our fleet and see if we can um, split them. Uh, oh, automated shipyard. Yep, yeah, like I suspected. Uh, while conducting their survey of Dweeb, uh, it's how it looks to me anyway. Dweeb 1C, uh, the good ship Lurian detected. I thought, oh, that's our, that's our, that's our building ship. Uh, detected the remains of an automated shipyard in orbit. It is at least a thousand years old and seems to have been subjected to heavy missile barrage, but one of the malfunctioning of the manufacturing base is still in working condition. Science officer Jargim Den Hulos <laughs> My god, these names are really doing me in uh, is confident that power can be restored to the shipyard, but it would be a significant project. Okay. I'm just gonna pause. Uh, uh, let's head into the situation log and repair the automated shipyard. Uh huh. So we need a scientist with skill level three or higher. Uh, track on the map. We're gonna track that on the map as well, just because. Um. Okay. 
So we need a science ship. We need a scientist with skill level 3. I think our scientist dude does have skill level 3. Let's see if we can look at personnel here. Uh, I know there is a thing. Uh, leaders. The government screen presents us with information. Budget policies. Demographics. Um, there is somewhere we can... Um, look at these. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I am trying to... Uh, find where that was. Uh, I know we can look at um, our um, go to multiplayer chat. Oh yeah, actually this is a multiplayer game as well. I don't know if I've mentioned that in the three episodes I've uploaded. Um, before release there was um, a uh, fallen empire. Okay, fallen. So we haven't really encountered any other civilizations per se. At least ones that we can talk to. Um, let me see. Situation. I don't know where I can find my uh, scientists. I think I am going to build a second science ship. Um, just because I'm anxious to get out to the black hole. And, uh, yeah, we're going to build a science ship. Uh, because I am anxious to get out to the black hole and, um, see what's going on out there. Maybe there's something interesting out there and maybe we can explore some more of the system. Uh, I would be interested to see... Is there another one of these clouds in this system? There must be somewhere. Uh, but once we warp in, I'm sure we'll be able to find it. And I think we can use them as some sort of hyperspace travel, uh, but I do really want to get um, the uh, Lurian out to um, the Black Hole, and we've got a couple of systems there to hit before we do. Uh, we've got another system to finish uh, researching before we do get out there. Um, let's see what we need to construct. Uh, how are we for resources? We're okay. We need some, we need to start uh, looking at. Um, so what was it that was causing the trouble in the Zublier system? Was I uh, Was that um, crystallines, or was it just something unknown to us? Uh, you're on track. Um, okay, so it seems like we're kind of progressing this way. Uh, until we can figure out how these things work. Um, no jets or a K-type star. I mean, it's the only explanation that I can figure out is that uh, using these clouds, we can somehow um, uh, quantum entanglement points these systems being home to void clouds. Oh, okay. So maybe they're just home to void clouds. Maybe we cannot travel there. But it looks like we can travel there because when we uh, select a ship, we have got Construction complete. the uh, an all green icon around it. Uh, so that must be our uh, spacecraft. So let us uh, close the galaxy map. Uh, we need to get back to Apollo system. Uh, so we have a new science ship. Well, you can actually just select it over here. Uh, Science ship, uh, TGS in Condor, or a Candor, the good ship in Candor. Uh, so we're just going to focus our view on it, and there she is, a mighty vessel indeed. So we need to assign a leader to this. Okay, so we are going to. Okay, so we've only got one. Uh, three star scientist at this point, age 32. Uh, so let's see. Aroma, survey speed plus 25. Ooh, that could be useful. Research speed, military speed. Okay, not really interested in that. Less meticulous than others. Okay, I think I want to go for this guy because uh, he's a rumor. So we're going to recruit him. And we are going to. Oh no, we're not going to dismiss you. Uh. We're going to try and reassign you. Um, see, I'm just going to pause the game while I'm trying to do this. Because we do want to get our three-star scientist aboard the new starship. Already assigned. Do you wish to reassign? Yes. So we're going to pop him onto this starship. Uh, we are going to take it out um, to the Dweeb system. Uh, isn't it? Uh, we are going to, yes, we have a special project out here that we want to uh, take care of. Okay, now we need to, uh, the Liguirian 
So we need to assign a leader, and I don't know, I'm assuming. So we have this new guy who is uh, Joram Den Valrag, or Vatrag. Uh, so we are going to assign him to this ship, and he is going to continue to the Hay system and uh, on out to the black hole and do a bit of research out there. Uh, while our better scientist is, I don't know, I'm assuming they're using a, some kind of beaming thing or something. So what's this guy up to now? Okay, he's going to, uh... Duh, 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 duh. I'm going to actually jump out and see what the plan for this ship is, okay. Uh, yeah, so... The Lurian. Okay. And we've, just by swapping out our uh, captains there, we have actually, uh... uh lost out on uh, some of our... Survey commands that we have popped in, and we're going to actually... We're gonna head out there and do that. Yes, yeah, so that's all sorted out. Uh, the reason I want is uh, to get this uh, three-star uh, scientist in here to uh, work on this um, brilliant uh, ship and maybe take it over for ourselves. And maybe we can have it as an outpost of some sort. Uh, we can also get some energy out here. Um, it's not actually that far off. Uh, so it's the next star from the UNIF system. Um, I think we're going to come here and we're going to build a... Uh oh, oh, pause. What's happening? Uh, Lurian hasn't got... Oh my good god. Crystalline fleet out near Hayes. Okay. Uh, system survey. They don't have systems necessarily surveyed. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, we have got something of a problem. Um... I wonder can we pass through I'm going to take active control of this I'm going to uh, put the stance to passive uh, because I want to get out to that black hole um, I think we can kind of skirt around oh they are moving about quite a bit um, let's just head out to the map view uh, see if we can move here and uh, let's head in again I just don't want to encounter them because oh and we've already warped out excellent we've already engaged our warp drive um, yeah if uh, you can kind of take control uh, we're going to put him into uh, evasive once again just to protect him because I have forgotten to do that as well um, I didn't want him to go back and try and make the long way around to the black hole. I'm really interested to see. Oh no, there's a hostile fleet. Um, oh, pause the game. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, so who's in here? Uh, fleet stands passive. Okay, okay, we're going to uh, bring ourselves into here. And uh, we're going to uh, replay. Um, so he's already warped out. Um, uh, detector one ships incoming from EMX Singularity. Okay, okay. So we need to get out to EMX Singularity. Okay. Okay, we've kind of messed that up a little bit. Uh, we're going to unpause the game. Yep. And our warp drive needs to cool down. Oh dear. So he's making his way back. And. He's making his way back, um, and his stance is set to passive. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting there. I'm sorry about that. I really do want to get out and see the black hole. There we go. We've warped out. Excellent. Uh, those guys really seem interested in us. Um, I don't know. I just want to see the black hole and see. I think if we actually get here, we can be. We will be able to actually. Uh, Warp jump back, I think, through that uh, wormhole. Okay. Habitable World Survey. We now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Gaia. Uh, both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various uh, forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalogue the life forms we encounter are already underway. 
But our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable, life-bearing worlds. Um, more important than a commendable initiative. So that's going to pop something else into our situation log. Is it going to give us... Um, okay, so we're repairing the automated shipyard. Uh, habitable world survey. So we have to... Uh, to complete this kind of uh, thing, it's going to give us some kind of a reward, I'm assuming. Um, if we can um, survey eight habitable worlds. Um, I'm not actually sure what the, uh, the reward is going to be. Uh, so we're tracking this in the map still. I'm, I think this may be the time where we're going to uh, find out if these uh, drifting clouds are of any use to us. Um, okay, so what is this? This is the... Shuala system. Shalua system? Why are we in the Shalua system and where is it? Okay. Okay, right, that's the system that we wanted to get to. Okay. Uh, let's go. And look at this ship. Uh, okay. We have some very strange uh, aliens over here. Uh, I'm just going to um, bring him into here. And we're going to unpause the game. We're also going to slow time down just a little bit. And there she is, a great uh, black hole. Uh, I wonder can we actually get in close enough to um, to uh, actually survey it without um, aggravating the, um, the guys living around the event horizon there. Um, wow, that is... Very, very nice. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. That is cool. Um, a singularity. Let's see what it says about it, actually. Um, okay, typically form as a result of the collapse of a very massive star at the end of its life cycle. Black holes have extremely strong gravity fields that uh, prevent anything, including light, from escaping once the event horizon has been crossed. Yes, they are bending and dilating space-time to the extent that not even light uh, can reach any kind of... Uh, the, 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 the speed of light is not uh, sufficient to uh, escape, yet they grab. And so, they do not emit light. Um, incidentally, they're not like um, cosmic vacuum cleaners. I mean, these guys are sitting here close to the back hole, close to the uh, vent horizon of the black hole, and they're not being sucked in. Uh, if the moon in the morning turned into a black hole, uh, it would pretty much wouldn't do anything. It would just continue orbiting the Earth uh, as it has always done. It's just, it would, it, I don't even know what you notice the, uh, it would be very difficult to see. I don't think you'd even be able to notice the, uh, space-time dilation with the, uh, or the gravitational lensing with the, um, with the naked eye, or maybe even with the telescope, I'm not even sure. Uh, it would be quite uh, a small singularity, um, uh, even though small singularity, uh, they're all quite small because they are singularities. Uh, so we're going to try and get this, uh, research ship. Oh, there's a potentially habitable world over here, but we do have some hostiles. Hmm. Hostiles, and magnetic energy cloud. Okay, this is the void clouds. Okay, we're gonna head over here. We're just gonna move here. We're not gonna survey, and we're gonna keep ourselves on passive for now, just so that I don't flee while I'm uh, tending to the rest of my uh, fledgling empire. Uh, let's head into the dweeb system and see what's happening. Okay, so we are. Yeah, we're repairing that shipyard. Uh, where is my construction ship? Uh, wasn't that supposed to come in here? Oh yeah, I never got around to it. Um, okay, this is what keeps happening. <laughs> when I want to build my mining station, I think I may actually have to build an outpost in here, uh, because it's not technically under my control, I don't think. Uh, so, science officer Jargum Den Hulos has successfully restored power to the automated shipyard over Dweeb 1C. The facility immediately resumed its interrupted construction order using what materials it had oh no, on hand to build the advanced radars of an unknown design. Unfortunately, the ancient facility bro oh, broke down completely afterwards and has been deemed beyond repair. We have sent crews to the new ship's 
and commission them into our own fleet. Oh, excellent. I was worried that we had actually created some sort of an AI ship or something uh, that was now attacking us. Uh, we do have something attacking us, and I'm a bit concerned about that. Uh, that's probably us uh, entering. Oh, yes, this is us entering this system here. Oh, yes, the Shwila system. The Shu. Shaula system. Okay, uh, I'm gonna head down into the map view. We're not in evasive mode. Um, okay, so this is the void cloud. Hostile. Okay, we want to stay away from that. So I think it's just that we can see these things and maybe travel to them. I'm not entirely sure. Um, oh, we've got potentially habitable worlds over here. Oh, habitable. We cannot currently colonize this one planet. has not been surveyed. Uh, desert colonization. Um, uh, desert. So we've got a lot of desert over here. We've got a class K star. Uh, 30 billion year lifespan. Um, okay, I'm assuming that's the hostiles that's here. Uh, so let's take a quick peek at what we want our little science ship to do. Mm hmm. I'm wondering, can we get there? Okay, so we can't get there from here. Okay, so they don't seem to act as wormholes. It's just giving it's just giving us a view of the galaxy in which, or the galaxy, the solar system in which they are. Planets not yet survey by a class K star. So it's giving us some kind of a glimpse into the thing. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I thought it maybe that these were um, some kind of a wormhole or something that we could pass through. Uh, we are still conducting some kind of re oh no we're not conducting research we're just simply tracking them um, I don't know do we want to approach do we want to uh, head back I mean we are way out on the fringes here um, what have we got over here the Anarium Nebula do we want to proceed onward um, or do we want to head back home it could be an idea to head back home. Um, plot a course for home. Um, oh, there's another system over here that we have not... Oh, wow. We can't actually get to that system. That is too far beyond our jump. Arcturus. Isn't that Arcturus? Or is it Arcturus or something? There, there is a star in our galaxy by that name as well. We can't actually jump over there. Uh, we can't jump there. We can't jump there either. Oh wait, we are selecting the void cloud. Uh, which ship are we on? Uh, yes, that's a bit more like it. Um, obviously we can't command the void cloud to jump. Um, we're going to just uh, move in. Uh, we're going to play it nice and safe rather than going straight into a survey. Uh, we're going to leave ourselves in passive just so I can figure out what we're going to do. Um, so this ship is now idle in the dweeb system or the dweeb system um yes what to do next with these things uh what else is where is our construction ship da -da -da. okay our construction ship is in the unif system mm -hmm. okay let's get this down to the dweeb system um there is potential oh, is that in our control I don't think it's in under our control. Uh, build a frontier outpost. Uh, let's just move down here for now. Um, our research ship, we are going to send it there. Our second research ship, our science ship. Uh, this is... Wow, that has a bigger jump radius than this? Oh no, it does not. No. Um, so let's see, we can head over here to this... Uh, Ak Olam system. Uh, the system has planets not yet surveyed by our empire. Uh, we're going to uh, just go there. Uh, this is. Uh, geez, what's this? New ships. No. Uh, what the heck is this? Oh, okay, I know what this is. My apologies, I know what this is. Uh, these are our Dweeb uh, starships. Uh, let's head in. These are the, the, the ships that we um, 
Wow, they are very nice looking, aren't they? Uh, nice and skull on the side. Um, oh, they are very cool. Maybe we're going to keep them around here. Yeah, I think we're going to keep them in the system uh, just for now. That is pretty cool. Um, so, yep, we're going to... Do -do. Yeah. So, okay. I'm just going to give a quick overview again of what I'm doing. Yeah, so I'm moving my construction ship into the Dweeb system. Um, my other science ship is heading out uh, away from uh, the system just because I do not really want to be in here yet. Um, going to head over and explore to see what's going on over there. Uh, my second uh, science ship is going to head down and explore this star over here. And my construction ship is heading over there. Uh, our new ships are going to remain in that system for now. And the first task force are still guarding the home world uh, gear in orbit of Apollo. Um, so yeah, I don't know how long I've been recording for. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Because uh, I kind of enjoyed making it. I'm really getting into this. Um, and yeah... We're going to try and uh, hopefully uh, start colonizing some other planets. There is one somewhere out here, I think, is in the Hexaross system. That was kind of um, looking a little bit habitable or something for us. Uh, I'm not sure I will find it again. Um, but yes, uh, so anyway, you have been watching Bloomer Brown on YouTube, and I will see you next time.